and today we will continue uh, we will do a, a new vocabulary lesson well it's uh, actually it's not new it's a lesson that continued from last week and teacher Raquel taught you this lesson last week but today it's a follow-up lesson oh. can someone tell me what this lesson is a follow-up of no. Riley Analogies. We're going to follow up analogy lesson that you started last week and then we're going to go into centers so we can see, we can portray in our centers what we've learned concerning analogy. So here we have a hand. What is this? Yes. An analogy or analogies are statements that compares and contrasts an idea that seems to have no relationship, but they really do. For example, hand is glove as to sock. Can you tell me some things about analogy? We learned about, ana we learned about analogy about the function of no. We learned about an analogy that analogy can be grouped into different things like for example function. Good job. Um, Robbie? Yes, Brianna? We learned that analogy stands the same family. Analogy stays in the same family, which we have, we can also use the big word relationship. Analogies have relationship with each other. Very nice, Brianna. Nandi? Analogy must be in the same group. For example, I and eyeshadow or lip and lipstick. Yes, very nice. So we just recap a little bit today. She said in the same group. Nandi said in the same group. Brianna said in the same family, which means relationship. What relationship does hand have to glove? Um, we wear. 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 Function. Function. Teacher. Yeah, we wear. A glove. A glove. During winter, sometimes. No, we wear a glove. The hands wear a glove as the foot wears a so when you have an analogy, it's easier to work out this way. The hand wears the glove as the foot wears the socks. Okay. So this is the symbol for cold. Cold is to hot as cold is to empty. <laughs> Very nice. Cold is to hot. So what is this? It's cold. Ah, very nice. Cold is the opposite to hot. So, this is an analogy of opposite. Okay, so it means full is opposite of hot, full is opposite of empty. Now, what does the cover do to the bottle? Cover it. Function. It's an analogy of function. Very nice. It's an analogy of function. So the cover opens and closes the bottle or the jar as the door does what uh, um Jaron? Door is to house. As the door opens and closes the house. Very good. Okay. Now today we're going to use analogy in three different centers. We will use analogy in the grammar center where you will be asked to write some sentences. Listen carefully. You will be asked to write some sentences. And those sentences are sentences you would have written before. The structure of those sentences you would have used before. The fourth sentence will be We have a paper right here. Noun, verb, preposition, noun. The second sentence, 
Noun, adjective, preposition, noun. The third sentence, adverb, verb, preposition, noun. We ram across here. Those persons that will be doing grammar, will go to that center, and I have the paper there. The instructions are written there. Then here is the vocabulary center. You will turn to page 131 in your new junior English revised and do exercise 178 from number two. From number two. Then we have the creative writing center. And there you write a, a letter to a friend saying what you learned about analogy. Use two examples of analogy in the letter as well. And after you finish your creative writing, I have a pair evaluation form for you. So you will evaluate each other before giving me your work. Okay? Is that understood? Yes. Any question? No teacher. Are you okay? You're cool? Okay, so...